Hello everyone. Today is going to be a we're going to be taking a look at this, the Twisby Eco, in this special limited edition color, glow green. As of the time of the recording of this video, it is still available from various retailers. Um, this green, this cap, and this end here, they glow in the dark. I would show you it. It's pretty cool. It's a nice dim uh, glow. It's pretty neat. However, it doesn't show up well on camera, so unfortunately I cannot show you that. So, I'm going to tell you th some things I like about this pen, some things I don't like about this pen, and then we'll do a final wrap-up. Okay, first we're going to start off with some measurements. So, capped, the pen measures roughly five, looks like it's just under five and a half inches um, with the cap off unposted we're looking at oh, stop rolling we're looking at from nib to end just over five inches and then with it capped we are looking at come on we're looking at just slightly above six and a half Alright, now for the good. The good is one thing, this cap can post, which is nice. I know there's some pens out there that the cap cannot post very well, so that's nice. For people who need a little extra length on it, that's nice. Um, this clip this is a really nice, sturdy clip. It'll clip really well on any pocket. I might worry about clipping it on something too thick. So, with, you might uh, risk bending it, but again, it is a nice clip, it would fit in, and it would fit nice in the pocket. Um, another good thing, this is a piston filled pen, so this whole thing right here fills up with ink. Right now I have Diamine Writer's Blood in it, it's a nice burgundy ink. Um, so this has a really nice ink capacity, so, which means you can write a long time. Um, and how you fill it is you twist this end back here. I'm not going to do it now because there's ink in there. And this plunger right here goes down to the bottom. And then as you, you stick it in your bottle of ink, you twist, and as you twist, the plunger comes back up and fills this compartment here with ink. And it normally fills it, it doesn't fill it up all the way, it normally fills it about, oops, sorry, let me get you in frame, about right there. So you get that much ink, and that ink will last you a long time. So it's good, it's really good for a lot of writing, if you're going to be writing a long time. Oh, yeah, I got, it. got this at a little bit of an angle so it might roll, oh well. Um, the price on this is around $35 to $32, which is really nice for this type of pen with a piston filling mechanism. Um, the construction on it is really good, it's a nice sturdy pen. Um, the grip is a really nice shape, really comfortable to grip. A screw on cap so the seal is nice and tight there and no, it's just really it's really satisfying to screw that on screw it off you kind of finish fidget fidget with it but that might that might uh, wear out the threads I don't know um, and overall this is because it is a fountain pen it has a really you don't, have to, you don't have to apply a lot of pressure to it so when you write it's a nice so when you write, it's uh, you don't have to apply a lot of pressure, so it doesn't wear out your hand, your arm, writing. It's a nice writing experience. Flow is pretty good. The line is probably close to a 7mm gel pen, I would say. Um, I don't know if this is a Japanese style nib or a European. I have only, I would say it's more European because it is quite a thick line for a Japanese medium. This is a medium nib. I don't know if you can see there's an M. You probably can't see. It's too, uh, but the, this is the Twisby Eco medium nib or the Twisby medium nib. So it creates that kind of line. Let me pull that up here. So that's about the size of the line you're going to get. Yeah, again, 
something like seven millimeter, probably for, if you're looking, if you're familiar with gel pens. Uh, one thing I forgot to mention in the good is this nib. This nib, if you can see the design on it, it's a pretty nib. This is probably one of this was uh, this was the prettiest nib I had until I bought the Retro Fifty One uh, fountain pen. But just the design on it is really, really neat. Just the shape. So anyway, well, that was one more good thing I forgot to add. So now, uh, now next is the things that I uh, don't really like about it. The kind of things I think that are not that great. Okay, now for the bad, one thing, it has a transparent cap, which looks pretty cool, but since it is a fountain pen, fountain pens have a tendency to leak. Like I dropped, I accidentally dropped this one. It's on carpet floor, so nothing was damaged. But they have a tendency to leak, and because of the transparent cap, you can see when ink gets down in there, sometimes there's a little uh, rubber thing in there. So sometimes ink can get in between that, so cleaning that out can be a little annoying. If the cap wasn't transparent, it wouldn't be much of an issue. Um, but you can see when ink gets in there and if I can get my camera angle right, it gets down in there. So that is one negative about this pen. It looks cool, but yeah, it's a negative. Um, the nib, it's, it, it's an, it is a nice, the, the flow is pretty nice, but the nib is a little dry meaning it's a little scratchy and I actually do like a scratchy nib but you can definitely feel with this pen now this might be this particular nib this is, and this might be this particular nib and maybe other Twisbees would be fine but there's a little bit of sometimes, not all the time, but sometimes you can feel a little bit of stickiness or a little bit of friction between the paper when writing it's not bad, you still don't have to press hard but kind of wish it was a little smoother. I should also point out that a fountain pen, they can, they can leak if you like jostle them around a lot or keep them upside down, don't store them upside down. But if you just have it sitting there, sitting there like on a desk if you're storing it like that, that should be fine. Or if you have it in a pocket and you have it upright, that should be fine. Uh, it won't leak on you most likely. Uh, just something to keep in mind, fountain pens can leak potentially, but if you handle them properly, you can really avoid a lot of uh, leaking with the pen. Um, this, so yeah, as I said, this pocket clip is nice, but it is a, it is a really nice pocket clip. Fits, it would fit, fit well in the pocket, but there's, it's it's attached to the cap. So if this pocket clip were to get bent out of shape, it would be really hard and maybe even impossible to bend it back into shape. So that, that is kind of a negative on the pen. And the cap, while you can post it, I, and this could be just a personal thing for me, I feel like the cap throws off the balance of the pen. I feel it's a little back heavy when it's on. I mean, it's easy to fix. You just, I just write with it off. But yeah, it just feels more natural to me. That could be this is probably just a personal thing. It, if you like a the cat posted, you might like it. I don't know. I just feel like it throws the, the balance of the pen off. Um, the grip, it is a nice. It is nice, but it can be a little slippery. The plastic, well, it, sometimes I just find myself fidgeting. I can find a good grip. It just sometimes takes a while because that is a little slippery. So if you like maybe a little bit more, a little bit more friction there, a little bit more grip, um, the, you might not like this pen. It's just, it is a little slippery on there, but still, you can get in. You still can get a nice grip. Sometimes you just might have to fig, 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 fidget with it or finagle it around in your hand. I don't even know if that's a word, but just move it around in your hand until you find that good grip and as you're writing you might have to just adjust it it's fine it 
doesn't really bother me too much, but it is something you kind of have to do. Well, that's about it that for uh, negatives on it. Let's let me uh, start wrapping this up, and I'll give you my final final overview overview thoughts on the thing. So, overall thoughts on the pen. It is a really great writer, uh, especially for if you're going to be doing a lot of writing because of that that big ink capacity. It's not the smoothest writer in the world, but it still does require it still doesn't re, it doesn't require a lot of pressure to write. So you're not going to wear out your hand really quickly with it, which is the beauty of fountain pens. It's pleasant to write with, and I'm also it's just a it's just a really nice writing instrument that I'm happy to have in my uh, arsenal, in my collection. Well, that's going to do it for now, guys. Uh, if you like this video, please leave a like down there. I would really appreciate that. Um, if you have anything to share, please leave it down in the comments. Uh, if you haven't already, and if you like content like this about pens and pocket knives, please subscribe to the channel. Uh, I would really like to have you. Um, that's it today. Until next time, guys, keep your pens filled and your knife sharp. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.